We'll come to a proof that the limit as x approaches zero of the quantity one minus cosine x divided by x equals zero. And the proof will assume we already know the limit as x approaches zero of sine x divided by x equals one. So looking at the given limit, notice how if we try to perform direct substitution, we would have zero divided by zero, which is an indeterminate form. So we're going to change the form of our function here by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of one minus cosine x, which would be one plus cosine x. So our first step is to multiply by the quantity one plus cosine x over the quantity one plus cosine x. We're going to leave the denominator in factored form, but we will multiply out the numerator, and we'll have four products here, one, two, three, and four. And let's go ahead and show that work. One times one is one, one times cosine x, that'd be plus cosine x. And then we have negative cosine x times one, so a minus cosine x. And then finally, negative cosine x times positive cosine x would be negative or minus cosine squared x. So this would be the numerator, and notice how these two middle terms are opposites, so those two terms simplify out, leaving us with a numerator of one minus cosine squared x. So now this would be our limit, and using the Pythagorean identity given here below, we'll perform a substitution in the numerator. If we subtract cosine squared x on both sides, we'd have sine squared x equals one minus cosine squared x. So now we'll substitute sine squared x for one minus cosine squared x, which gives us the limit in this form here, and now we're gonna break up this fraction into factors. So this fraction here is equal to sine x times sine x divided by x times one over the quantity one plus cosine x. Notice how we multiply these three fractions together. Our numerator still has two factors of sine x, and the denominator still has a factor of x and a factor of one plus cosine x. And the limit as x approaches zero of this product is equal to the product of three limits, which we see here in this line. Again, the limit as x approaches zero of this product equals the limit as x approaches zero of sine x times the limit as x approaches zero of sine x divided by x times the limit as x approaches zero of one divided by the quantity one plus cosine x. In this form, we can determine each limit and then find the product. The limit as x approaches zero of sine x equals zero by direct substitution. Next, we have our special limit, the limit as x approaches zero of sine x divided by x, which we proved in the last video is equal to one. And we can find this last limit by performing direct substitution. Cosine zero is equal to one, so a limit would be one over the quantity one plus one, or one half. But notice how because we have a factor of zero, this product equals zero, which proves the limit as x approaches zero of the quantity one minus cosine x divided by x does equal zero. And to verify this graphically, here's the graph of f of x equals the quantity one minus cosine x divided by x. And notice as we approach x equals zero from the left and from the right, we can see we are approaching the function value of zero. I hope you found this helpful.